Okay, guys, now this is something that maybe you've seen before, whether it be in real life or on YouTube. Now, this also came in um, the prize pack that I got from Leo Kim Video, and I've been wanting to review it for a long time. I had it out as one of the first things I was going to review from that. But as we know, things happen, and I've a lot of more stuff has come my way, which I've prioritised in my reviewing process. So finally, I want to get this out, and let's have a look what it does. I haven't heard good things about it, unfortunately. Um, although I have seen it at my local Coles, the same place which I purchased those Transformers Allegiance figures that I looked at. Um, I think they're about the same price too, $7, maybe $9 for a two-pack of the little cars. Um, and they just don't want to move at my local Coles. So, let's see what these are about, and let's see why no one wants to talk about them. Alrighty guys, let's go. Alrighty guys, I'm going to actually do unboxing shots, so this is my one chance to see if I get it right, because it's all going back. Ooh. Ooh, I did it! And this time, I didn't fail. That's always nice. But in unboxing all of that goodness, I noticed this. Isn't that interesting? Hmm. With the uh, lack of success these guys are having, maybe that's why Ford's going broke in Australia. Or maybe I'm just crazy. Here we go with the second unboxing shot. Oh, this stuff is like such a pain. How does everyone do these unboxing shots without like completely destroying everything? Ah, oh, there they are, look. There they are. The machines. And I don't need you anymore. It's actually been a really long time since I've unboxed something where I didn't know what was going to be inside. Like, either all my other reviews, I've usually opened it and had a look first, but this, I literally have not had a look at this. I am doing this. This is live. This is real, guys. This is Extreme Trains. Now, where's the other car? Oh, there he is. All right. Mmm. You can see the dirt all over my fingers. Go look at these guys. Oh, Ooh, feel that. Nano speed. Power motor. Something crazy amount of RPMs. Let's just take a little bit more of a look. These guys are really, really tiny. Like, if we get a Thomas Mini just for reference. Like, yeah, wow. These things really are like nano. Um, looking at the cars themselves, making sure I bring that into focus. There we go. Uh, they're really curious. They're quite well detailed. I think they use the same printing technique as the um, ones that do the Thomas Minis, actually, which is quite interesting. Um, there you go. Copyright Ford Motor Company. Interesting. Now, this to me doesn't look like a Ford car. Maybe I don't know enough Fords. Actually, in hindsight, wait, see, look, I said that, and then I looked around, and I was like, actually, now that you say that, maybe they do look a little bit like Ford cars. Hmm. Maybe the car experts out there will know. Ah, see, there you go. This one isn't a Ford. This is a V8 Ford, whatever that means. And this one is. Is this meant to be a Fiesta? Ooh, am I advertising for Ford now? Hmm. I guess once we have a look at this toy, we'll know. They're quite, they're quite interesting. They've got, like, rubberized wheels. I think the whole wheel is made of rubber. They don't actually have like a tyre, but the whole thing is like that soft rubber. Uh, but they are really small and they're really light. And quite punchy, apparently. Look at that, they're just like jumping around. Hmm. This will be interesting. Oh man, this is looking really difficult. <sighs> Wouldn't be far if I didn't show you guys this. Uh, thankfully, the pieces do have little numbers engraved on them. Hmm. Not so bad after all. Let's see. Alright, I've built this thing up now, but first, um, I'll look at what the paperwork had inside of it. Uh, first of all, there's this little thing here, which is like a bit of a collector's guide or something. Uh, my preliminary things mean I can't actually find the cars on here that came with the set. I don't know what that means, but anyway, it's a nice little poster. The other thing that was curious about this was this sticker here. There we go. Tech Deck! Didn't even think they still made those things. Wow. Uh, X Concepts. I've heard of them before. I've also heard of Air Hogs. Now, I had a lot of fun with Air Hogs back in my childhood. Um, I just actually threw that set out, so I'm not going to be reviewing it. But I know Air Hogs are some really cool plane stuff. So, interesting to see that these are all by the same company. Now we have to see, like, whether or not it lives up to that name. Now, this set is, like, kind of a funky-looking set. Like, it's... Decently sized, as you can see, I've kind of like had to put it sideways to fit on my desk. Um, this is just set 
configuration A. Um, there's four configurations apparently you can make, hence all these little bits here. The instructions I still found quite confusing, even with the, the lettered sections. All right, so there. you can see that kind of the way it works in the instructions, it tells you to push the car, pull back, and push forward. Uh, kinda, like it almost made it. Hmm. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try that again. Let me just, give me a moment here, second guys. Let me just get the licensed Ford vehicle and push forward, go. Uh, I tried. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna put it here so you can kind of see how it finishes with these little gates, which I could not figure out how to go together. I think that's right, but the left one goes on the right-hand side and the right one goes on the left-hand side, go figure. All right, let's have another go. Hmm, interesting. All right, let's try the, try the white one. Just having more luck with that. I did have a play with this a little bit before um, I actually showed it on camera. Well, hit the Thomas Minis, so, so we're getting there. Um, all right, let's just get that, that delicious clicking noise. Hmm. Um, right. This is a, this is really not like, not what I like to see in a toy when you can't get it to work. Uh, um, right. Okay, we'll go back to the blue car. Kind of almost got there. Let's have another go. Let's have another go. Remember, guys, that these are kids' toys. Uh, they're not. They're not meant to design for uh, grown adults, i.e., me, who have a lot more patience than most five-year-olds would. Um, there you go. You can just see that one spinning off, just almost out of frame. Um, I'm gonna keep, keep going to go with this, guys. This is going to take a while, but let's see. Aha! Look, we got one that didn't make it to the end. Hmm. Well, that's, that's actually as close as I got. I actually got a car to here um, when I was testing it off off camera, but that's as close as I got, and that was once. Um, all right, let me see if I can get two going. Um, you guys obviously can't see this, but I, that's a click of one, that's a click of two. Let me see if I can get some of that action that was we were talking about. Oh, no, nah, I let one go by accident. Oops. All right. All right, that was mildly more exciting. Um, that one... Into there, and that one got to there, so that was that was getting there. Um, all right, let's give it another go with the two. Let's just let's just see see where we get, see where we get. Oh, yeah. All right, um, let's just go back to the instructions. Maybe there's maybe there's something in the instructions. Let's see. Play. Uh, pull back motor, move back and forth until a click is heard. Well, that's interesting because. I think if you move it forward, you're gonna unwind it. Uh, push forward, apparently, and then it does zoom. It crashes through the gates. Oh, and play again. Right, I, I misunderstood that part. Hmm. In case you guys haven't told by my sarcastic tone, this is a uh... yeah. This is a little bit underwhelming, unfortunately. Um, I'm not really, really happy with how this is working out. Let's give it another go. Let's go back to one, just so I can see if I can get. I want to actually break through those gates, which as you can see are actually pre-broken. Yep. I don't think I'm launching any of them wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. If someone else has got these nano speed sets, you can tell me if like this is the way you're supposed to do it, right? And, well, hopefully not like that, because that's not meant to happen. Uh, oh dear. I am really struggling to get this to work. Alright, that one got to there. Hmm. Let's just, let's just have a look at the box one last time. I'm gonna get up through the box saying we don't need that anymore. Uh, let's see. What have we got? Super, speed, four combinations, uh, hmm, four crash zones. Interesting. Race to the finish. Hmm. 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 Pullback motor. Right. Hmm. E <sighs> this really isn't really isn't um getting me very excited, is it? I mean, it's not it's not really working. 
I mean, for one thing, there's no way you're going to be able to get one, two, three, four, five, six cars going at once. I mean, for a start, they're not on the track for that long, but, like, you don't have enough hands. Like, what the heck? All right, we'll get rid of that again. Mm. Yeah, this is this is starting to be really, really underwhelming. I can see why people were not buying this thing. Um, I haven't actually, at the point of making this video, seen if there's any other videos of this on YouTube. Although, I'm definitely going to do that as this is uploading. Um, but yeah. Have you guys seen these before? Let's see if I can get this. Nope. That is, that is definitely a fail. Wow, this video has been a giant fail reel. If I did fail reels, this whole video would be on it. Um, yeah, this set really isn't working for me. Um, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. If anyone can see I've done something wrong, like, feel free to correct me, because I really don't know what it is that I'm doing wrong. The best thing I can say about this is that, like, Grab me a Thomas Mini. Thomas Minis kind of fit on the track. You can see their little outer wheel things mean that they can kind of roll along and get some get some Edward action. <laughs> Woo, yeah, Edward. Oh, but even he, like, no. Nah. Even the Thomas Minis can't get around. Just get stuck there. Hmm. Well, this review has been particularly underwhelming. Uh... Leo was definitely right that this set, maybe, yeah, no, didn't deserve a review on his channel, didn't even have, does a review on mine, dear me. Um, yeah, so it's got some quite some cool cars, but um, I just can't figure out how I'm meant to make this work. I mean, what's the bet that I'll make this one work and I won't get on camera, which would just be classic. Well, look, see, there you go, like I said it, and it happened. Um, we got that far, but even then, like, none of them have actually got through and broken open those gates. So, to me, considering, like, a race to the finish, they can't actually get to the finish, that is epic fail. Wow. Alright, so I think this toy can go straight into the uh, fail category. Uh, I don't even think it deserves me to have another look at the, the other configurations. Because if the main configuration doesn't work, you've got issues. Alright guys, let me know what you think about this. Have you got any of these? Maybe you collect the cars. The cars are quite cool, I think. I can see someone collecting the cars if you're a car fan. Um, yeah, let me know if you've got any of these nanospeed stuff. Uh, maybe you can get it to work. Maybe I just have really bad luck. Or I'm really uncoordinated. Well, we know we're really, we know I'm really uncoordinated, but maybe just particularly bad luck. I don't know. You guys, let me know what you discover with this set. And your experience with these things is because I just cannot... I just cannot get this to work. Alright guys, sorry if I... This was a bit of a depressing review, wasn't it? It didn't really have a happy ending. Um, what is a happy ending is I can say that... Oh, look, this guy. I know other people have asked me to review, and um, this guy, which I know other people have asked me to review, are uh, look, they're finished and up and ready to go. And then I've also got this cool thing, oh, which I've left in box to take a look at this and some Creo Transformer stuff there. And you never know, maybe we'll have a look at... Uh, have a look at what this means. Now, if you know what this is... Well, nah, yeah, now we're talking, we're on the same level. Hmm. Maybe some of you know what that is, maybe some of you won't. Anyway, so that's just an idea. There's plenty of cool stuff to come, guys. Don't be disheartened by this video, because you need to have a happy ending, because all videos have happy endings, right? So let me know what you think about this set. Let me know if you've had any experiences with it that are maybe better than the ones I've had. Um, but I can say that this is an epic fail my, from my experience, and do not pick this up, even if... You get it for free because it's just going to take up space. Take up space, your valuable space, which you could be filled with awesome toys like, you know, Thomas Minis or Transformers stuff or these bad boys, which are now all up here. Woo! Yeah, so let me know what you think. Don't forget to do all that cool stuff people do on YouTube. Thanks for watching if you've got through this far and through this really depressing video. And as I always say now, thanks for watching. That's all we've got time for from Extreme Trains.